perhaps the most uh, common advice you get in the coin industry is buy the coin, not the holder. Uh, but I'm going to tell you a story about the complete opposite happening in this video. And it all started with uh, a Jefferson nickel that I bought raw on eBay, a really nice uh, Jefferson nickel from a seller that really didn't look like they had sold much. So my guess was they probably didn't know what they had. And at that time, I had been grading quite a few Jefferson nickels. So I felt like I knew what I was looking at. And I thought this was a really nice, nicely toned Jefferson nickel. The picture didn't do it justice. I paid $35 raw for this coin. It was a buy it now. And just take note of that little toning spot. As you'll notice, that is the kind of fingerprint of this coin going forward. So then I sent it to PCGS. And many months later, they blessed me with a Mint State 67 full step. And uh, I was very happy with that because that turned a, essentially a $35 coin into a $500 coin. Uh, I was so happy about it. I was like, hey, you know what? I'd rather just take my profits. And I sold it on eBay uh, shortly after I got it back from PCGS. So I only held it for maybe six, six months of which PCGS had it for almost four of those six months. But I sold it for $499. I was happy. I was hoping the buyer would be happy. It was a nice coin with a nice true view image. And uh, next thing I know, I'm perusing through great collections and I see my coin again. But this time it's now in a Mint State 67 plus full step holder. So clearly the buyer of this coin thought it was even better than a 67 full step. They cracked it out, sent it into PCGS and amazingly they got it up to a 67 plus full step holder and sold it on great collections for $877 and 50 cents. Uh, so good for them. And I guess it worked out for all of us, except the poor eBay seller who sold it raw for $35. So I thought this was a really entertaining story. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, please, if you can like and subscribe, I appreciate you watching.